Welcome back to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. This is the eighth lecture on the environmental biotechnology. In this lecture, we will cover detoxification of hazardous chemicals and its methods with some research questions. Detoxification of hazardous chemicals refers to the process of rendering harmful or toxic substances less harmful or non-toxic, making them less dangerous to the environment, living organisms or both. This process is crucial in managing and mitigating the adverse effects of pollutants on ecosystems, human health, and other organisms. Detoxification can occur through various natural and engineered processes, aiming to reduce the toxicity and environmental impact of hazardous chemicals. There are several methods of detoxification, which includes biodegradation, biotransformation, phytoremediation, chemical neutralization, and incineration. First, we will discuss biodegradation. ITS is the breakdown of complex organic compounds into simpler, less harmful substances by the action of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, and other microbes. The process includes microorganisms utilize the hazardous chemicals as a source of energy or nutrients breaking them down into smaller, less toxic molecules through enzymatic activities. And the end products of biodegradation are often harmless substances like water, carbon dioxide, and biomass. Biotransformation involves modifying the chemical structure of hazardous compounds using biological agents like microorganisms or their enzymes. The process includes microorganisms enzymatically transform hazardous chemicals into metabolites with altered chemical structures, reducing their toxicity and enhancing their breakdown. And the result shows the transformed metabolites are usually less toxic and more amenable to further degradation or assimilation by organisms and the environment. Phytoremediation is the use of plants to remove, degrade, or contain hazardous substances in the soil, water, or air. The process includes the plants absorb and accumulate hazardous chemicals from the environment through their roots, effectively removing them from the soil or water. And as a result, the plants can store, degrade, or immobilize the pollutants, making them less harmful or facilitating their removal from the ecosystem. Chemical neutralization involves changing the PEOU, or chemical composition, of hazardous substances to reduce their toxicity. In the process, acids or bases are added to the hazardous chemicals to neutralize their harmful effects and convert them into less toxic forms. And in the result, the neutralized compounds are less hazardous and can be more easily managed or treated further. Incineration is a high-temperature combustion process that breaks down hazardous substances into simpler compounds, often converting them into gases and ashes. In the process, the hazardous materials are burned at high temperatures in specially designed incinerators. And as a result, this can reduce the volume and toxicity of hazardous substances, although it may generate air pollutants depending on the materials incinerated. Detoxification of hazardous chemicals is a critical aspect of environmental management, ensuring a safer and healthier environment for both ecosystems and human populations. Various approaches are applied based on the type and extent of pollution, aiming for effective and sustainable remediation. Here are some questions related to the topic. Number 1. What are the microbial mechanisms involved in detoxifying hazardous chemicals through biodegradation and biotransformation in environmental biotechnology? Number two, how does the choice of environmental biotechnology method influence the effectiveness of hazardous chemical detoxification? Number three, how does integrated environmental biotechnology optimize detoxification compared to traditional methods in terms of cost, environmental impact, and sustainability. That's all from this lecture. 
This was the last lecture from this module. Stay tuned for our upcoming course.